Hello everybody, today I'm gonna show you how to replace rear brakes and rotors on this 2012 Mercedes ML 350. Go ahead, open your hood. And over here on the driver's side, we will need to open brake reservoir cap. Without pressing brake, press your store button. Now press selector button to your left until the trip will highlight it. With the two second, you will need to hold accept and down button and press OK until the menu will show. Let's go and do it. Now go to your pads replacements with arrows, click just down a couple of times and then press OK. And now you can go and press OK. Go ahead and remove your wheel and I'm using 1116 socket. Use your jack stand for safety. Now we will need to remove uh, the caliper, but first we need to release some uh, wires. Go ahead and pop these wires off, this little bracket. Then go up and take this off, like this. This is your uh, electric emergency brakes. And this is just a wire harness that goes to it. You will need to take it off as well. There's a little clip right underneath. Just go and take it off. And next, uh, you will need to remove this clip right here. This is your uh, brake hose. I uh, just want to kind of get out of the way so I can move around the whole caliper while this will be loose. To remove a caliper, you'll need to take this bolt off. It's a 13 millimeter and this one right here too. To remove bolt in the back of the pen, I use a longer uh, 13 millimeter socket. And also you will need to hold this pin at the same time and I'm using 11 16 wrench. Now this is your brake wear sensor and it was temporary uh, turn off. I do not recommend you to do this. I did it just uh, to stop car and notified me that I need to change my brakes. And now we need to just pull this sensor and disconnect the harness. Now we're ready to remove caliper and since your emergency pump right here, you can't really pull the brake caliper straight out. You have to do it from underneath, just like this. Don't hang your caliper on the wire. Make sure you secure somewhere. Uh, you can just really put it like this and it will stay there. Go ahead and remove your brake pads. And now we're ready to remove our caliper bracket. To do so, you'll find two bolts in the back of it. The one located right there, and the one will be underneath. You see it right there. I'm using 11 millimeters for this bolt, and I would recommend you to use the biggest wrench that you can find in your garage. Okay. 
Before completely removing the ball, I recommend you to loose up the bottom one. Now our two bolts are loose and we can just go ahead and remove them. This wrench is hidden against the control arm and I will not be able to remove this bolt completely. I will need to use something like this. This is just regular wrench and it's also 18 millimeter. Now we're ready to remove rotor and to do so I'll be using a T30. Now you will need to remove as much rust as you can from this hub. When you're ordering your rotor, make sure you order correct one because this one is this is my original one and it's ventilated. The one that I received are not ventilated and it's completely different and will not fit. And I do not have a sport package. I called the company I ordered from and they told me I should have a regular solid, but I do not have a ventilated and I call Mercedes dealership. They also do not know why I have a ventilated spore package installed on the rear, but at the front I do not have a spore package. We'll have to send this one back and order a spore package. This is a correct size of rotors. And this rotor is made by company Centric. They have a black coating, which is supposed to prevent from rusting and I definitely recommend you to get rotors like this with a coating. Now you need to go ahead and compress cylinder on this caliper. Just find something where you can sit your caliper on top of. I usually do it on a jack stand like this. For this job you will need a disc brake caliper tool set like this that you can... Now you just need to find a correct adapter in your tool set and we need to go ahead and compress this tool. Now we're ready to install bracket. But first, we need to go ahead and clean all this.
My brake pads did not came with the brake caliper hardware, so I have to reuse this one, which they're not in bad shape. They just need to be clean, as you see. They can be reusable. Make sure you inspect your bracket pins, or people call them caliper pins. Make sure there is a grease in them and they're not dirty. And if needed, just add a little bit to it, or you can completely flush these pins out and change that grease. Now you can go ahead and install clean brake pads hardware. And we need to go ahead and lubricate them. Now make sure you don't put too much grease so they're not gonna transfer on rotors. Now we can go ahead and install caliper bracket. Now we're ready to install our new brake pads and make sure you have new brake pad wear sensor and you need to install the sensor first like this now next will be our caliper and just put this wire through the caliper and just like Slide it right on top of the new pads. Now you can go ahead and connect your brake wear sensor and then clip like everything was before After you will replace your driver's side, you can go ahead and enter the vehicle. You need to go ahead and close the door. Turn the vehicle on. And it will notify you to press OK to exit a fitting position. Let's go ahead and do that. You will hear a noise. And now you just need to click OK one more time. And then exit the service menu. Now don't forget to close your brake reservoir cap.
before going anywhere, make sure you press brake pedal a couple of times. Guys, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer. And as always, thank you for watching.